Hi guys, welcome back to Build a Beard Review. So now we're going to talk about Catwoman Annual Number One. Now this was written by Joel Jones with art by Elena Casagrande, uh, inking assist by uh, Lee Bo Underwood, uh, art also by Hugo Petrus and Scott Godalowski. There's 38 pages in here, so they kind of broke up the art, which is awesome. I love it. All right, so this annual is is great. I find annuals usually fall into one of two camps. One is that it's kind of like oh okay that was fine let's let's move on and the other ones are hey that was pretty great and it actually ties into the story at hand in that series and it pushes it forward and that's the camp that i think this one falls into it does a couple things um that are really like one it pays off some character relationships that we have established prior um it leans into some of the stuff that's going on between uh catwoman and batman in a few parts that are really that i really like and also it's a compelling self-contained story which i think is great for an annual given that they're 38 pages almost like one and a half um times a regular comic so let's go through this it is an annual so it might take a little bit longer to get through, but I think it's worth it. So this whole thing is kind of done almost in this documentary style. I don't know if you can, if I can get this on camera, but you can kind of see as uh, this woman is, if I can get the focus right, um, sitting here, you can kind of see she's being framed up in a camera and there's someone off, uh, out of frame there and she's being mic'd up and things like that. And so she's being um, uh interviewed my brain could come up with the right word sorry i wanted to say interrogated but i'm like no that's not quite right that's a little bit different context there and so she's asking you know saying um you know i'd just like to have a few questions with you and we don't know who is doing the question asking at this point we do find out later um and so this uh person amanda burris who is being interviewed is pretty antagonistic and you know saying um you know, I was I was there from the beginning. I saw everything. Kind of, kind of one of those people. And you know, there's this. Um, she says, "I knew she was a super psycho when she uh, first rolled into town." And then there's this, um, these two panels right here that are like hyper realized of Catwoman um, murdering these people, saying, "Oh, you're better and prettier than me," and like, and like you're gonna die. And just you can tell that it's. Uh, all kinds of bull crap, right? And then we're also cutting in between her being interviewed along with two of the cops that are there in Via Hermosa. And so there are um, three dead bodies that um, they are calling maybe a homicide, or I'm sorry, a suicide. Um, <clears throat> but they think it was maybe set up to look like a suicide. And so we get um, some backstory and we have... Uh, selena being interviewed here as well and she's talking about how um she has rules in her life that she follows when she uh is interacting with people and just going about her life but she broke one and that's what happened here um she found someone ODing or something like that and you know took her home uh to take care of her and then that's when things kind of go wrong she stays there for a few weeks then she comes home one day and that person has invited a bunch of her friends in and they end up breaking one of uh, Selena's treasures there. And so she gets upset with them and they say, um, you know, start to insult them and she gets pissed and she says, you know, I don't care if you understand the value or not. And they're like, did you steal all of this? She kind of, you know, insinuates that she steals it and she's like, I don't see how any of that is your business um and they're like man if you sold all this you can make bank and she says that's not why i have them and i like this it kind of gives you a hit a look into selena and says a lot of people have worked uh very hard to get all these things people that are always told or always do what they're told people that work a job make good investments so they could have nice things then these things give them a feel of worth a uh, sense of worth um they were all believing in a system that told them if they followed the rules they would be rewarded with more things she says but when you're born with nothing and don't have the resources that some that others do the rules of the better half don't apply all you ever have is herself you can let that break you or you can use it to make yourself stronger and i think that's a great encapsulation of uh, catwoman's character and so after she goes finishes her rant um and she the all the girls there said like 
can you teach us this? And that's where things start to kind of uh, go off the rails. So there's this kind of basically a training montage. And right here and these two panels is where it kind of starts to go south. Uh, this is Amanda Burris, the one uh, we were interviewing at the, at the front. When they're casing a diamond place or stealing, she pulls out a flask and Catwoman um, says, no, you can't do that. No drinking, no drugs when you're working a job because you need to be clear headed and understand what you're doing. Um, she's you know training them she says they even started picking out targets on their own and following through i was so very proud it's like it's almost like I, I can't remember i think it was a tale of two cities where there's the guy that's um teaching the the, the kids how to steal like fagan i can't remember his name sorry guys whatever um and so um they decide to steal something on their own they you know see this spear in this Instagram post at this party house. And so they're like, hey, let's do let's do Catwoman Proud and go, you know, do this case on her own and show her we're actually learning. And so they do and it goes completely sideways. Even so this is one of those cool times where the voiceover, the the speech boxes, um, actually contradict what's going on, like complete opposite, right? They say um, it was clear that the place was a waste and a, a, a dump and a waste of our time. We looked around forever for it, but the spear wasn't there. And that's very untrue. The spear is definitely there. And it is a super nice mansion. And so we get this uh, montage right here of this one character reaching up to grab it and then getting blood splattered on her face and then herself getting like throat chopped, right? Um, and so basically... Um, the interviews go on and there's, there's the guy who was, was killing them all. We later find out it's the, um, the immortal man. And that spear is actually the thing that made and is keeping him immortal. So she gets, um, Catwoman gets there, finds out that, uh, finds the girls, um, dead, moves the bodies, I believe. Um, and then the cops chase her away. She goes and gets a storage unit to kind of set up shop to do an investigation. And this is where um, our documentarian comes in. Selena calls Lois Lane. Um, love that because we had that those couple issues over in Batman. I believe they were in the 40s, late 30s, early 40s in issue, issue numbers where Batman and Catwoman and Superman and Lois, Lois Lane go on a double date. And it was it was a great issue. A lot of good character moments in there. Um, and then right here, um, Selena also says, um, I felt responsible for those girls. I was responsible. I don't know. Uh, maybe I thought it was sort of a punishment for opening my heart too soon after leaving Brew. And she's clearly going to say Bruce and, you know, kind of opening those emotions, which is something I've been critical about um, in this Catwoman series is we haven't dwelled on on that enough i don't want it to take over the book but i do want something of that because it was a huge life thing um you know for Catwoman. and i want something to touch on and having that in this book was good so she calls lois and now it's become clear that she is our documentarian the one who's doing all these interviews and all the filming and everything like that so eventually selena figures out um who did it and she shows up to this party in this great scene here shows up in a trench coat drops the the coat and says i'm catwoman i'm here let's do this um she calls out uh, amanda the girl we've been interviewing she's at the bar and like oh oh shit um sorry i usually try not to cuss um um then a mortal man shows up and they end up fighting um it turns out that um uh, she like runs a mortal man through with um, the spear and then I love this sequence right he chucks her off a balcony but as she's falling she whips out her uh, uh, whip sorry uh, grabs onto the spear and then yanks him off and then we see this big red whoosh and we're like oh what was that um, then the spear actually does break and it turns out um, um, Superman was there to catch uh, Mortal Man falling, and it looks like he might be dying or is like permanently hurt since his spear got broken. Um, then we get this great last moment here where 
We're interviewing Amanda. The lights go off, and boom, Catwoman's there to get um, retribution, revenge, uh, whatever. So all in all, this was a fantastic, deep Catwoman story. Um, she kind of pulls these people into her life. Things go wrong, and then she has to fix it. Um, kind of also playing into that she brought them in as a way of keeping her mind busy so she didn't think about Bruce, opening up her heart a little bit, and then getting basically slapped down again. All stuff that I really like. Um, great self-encapsulated story. I don't know if this will come back in the regular Catwoman title. I'd be cool if it did, or if it doesn't, I'd also be cool with that, because again, this feels pretty well self-contained. Good stuff. Better stuff than we've been getting, I feel like we've been getting from the Catwoman title um, as of late. So hopefully this trend continues in this trend, or this comic goes up so guys what you think about catwoman annual number one let me know all your thoughts down in the comments below thank you so much for watching if this is your first time here at the channel hit that subscribe button it would mean a lot to me and until next time we'll see you at the comic shop